You're probably sitting there with your one hand on your mouse and your other hand on hopefully that's not something too different. Anyway, you're sitting there with your huge ass mansion, your sims are rich, they have everything they could desire, but you're just missing that one core element of a huge house. Something that could make your sims wet. Yes, EA has provided you with this, with pools! We finally have pools! Now, there are different type of things you can do with the pool, so let's go ahead and go through them all. First off, you have this no regular pool tool, just do that and voila, a pool. Let's do that tinier. Then you have your triangular pool, which you can pull and drag and it would be awesome. I, you can also combine them, just saying. Then you have your regular square pool, unless you're just really incompetent and making perfect squares with this, I guess, I don't know. Uh, you have your diagonal square pool, so just go ahead and join everything you want and make the most epic pool ever. You know it's the most epic pool, you, would, you want to swim in this, you want to. Then you have your octagonal pool, which is probably the best one of all since they always look so awesome and fancy. And yeah, oh yeah, you can also have them make a, like a little island in the middle and put like a, what's it called? Wait, can I do this? No, I can't. Anyway, put a, like a little statue or something in the middle. Then you have your regular uh, ladder, your pool lights that go on the inside. They also added like this little pool light at the bottom. And since you can change the color, wait, wait. Since you can change the color of the thingies, you can make your pool like pink or orange or red or whatever the, you, you dang will feel like. Then they gave you these little weird carpet things, but, but my pool is too too epic to handle these. And yeah, also you can make a foundation. Where is that? I did not know you can do this. Actually, I did not know you could make like a regular foundation here without building it on a house. But you can, so just make a foundation, and then, wait, well, how do you do this? Oh yeah, yeah, what? Okay, there it is, I just had to adjust the heights, whoops, you can put a pool there, and you have little, your little own little outdoor po indoor, indoor pool, so that is awesome. And besides an indoor pool, you can also make a pool on top, on top of the thing, on top of your walls or whatever, and you can do this, then this. And then that. And if you put a window on it, can I have like a huge window that shows everything? Let's put these medium. Let's put these high. Can I do that? Yeah, okay. And then you can put up uh, windows there. And you can look at your sims while they're swimming. So if you want, you can stalk them even underwater. There is no privacy from for, for your sims. You, you can basically put your, your pool wherever you dang well feel like. Just put it there, plug it there, and yeah, you're good to go. So yeah, you can go ahead and experiment with these pools. You have a lot of new ways to make a pool. I'll put a link to the Sims 4 trailer, just in case you haven't seen that, because they show a lot of things you can do with your pools. You can go ahead and make a pool, but I doubt it will be as epic as mine. Mine is like the best pool ever. You know you want to swim in that pool. Anyway, I'll see you with the Formosa household. Hey guys, Chris Theo here, bringing you another part of Let's Play The Sims 4. Now, I might be wondering, what the heck are you doing, Create a Sim? Well, I wanted to show off the swimwear. Oh wow, that's really weird. Um, so you can either have a full body thing, or you can have, I'm assuming, yeah, these. This is the first time seeing it for myself, so they look pretty cool. And wow, she has put on a lot of weight. I should have her work out a little. Let's see, how about we go with this and maybe change the color? No, blue I think looks good on her. Wish, I, yeah, there. And the bottom, you can have that. And, oh, you can have those, those are cool, okay. Or this is a speedo thing. How about I have that? Can you change the color to make it darker? Yeah, I think that looks fine. Or, hmm. Or do we go... Yeah, no, I don't like that. Yeah, that's fine. So what did they add? I think they added some accessories as well, right? Did they? Oh, no, 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 the face. Like, makeup? I don't think they added any hairstyles, no. Makeup. Yeah, these. They added these little weird sunblock things. 
th to be honest, th these really annoy me in, in real life when people do that. They they make it look so they make the person look so weird. So I won't be using that. Yeah. Okay. So now let's see the the male ones. The male um swimwear. Oh wow. Wow, he looks badass. Okay, you can have a, a shirt, no shirt, which is what I'm going with. Are there full body ones? No, of course. You can have really long pants or shorter ones, or you can have those weird speedos. Oh god, I hate speedos. They just make everything look so awkward. Let's. What? What? What did he have on? Yeah, that's that, and do a black one. So yeah, we have quite a bit a number of selection, but not not that much, but not bad. How do I remove the accessory of the yeah, I don't want both of those. Let me go quickly go ahead and change Susan's look. Yeah, okay. So that's Susan. Okay, we're back. So yeah, I literally just woke up this morning. I'm super tired and I decided, "Hey, let's see if what's if The Sims 4 Updated and yeah, funny enough, there it was. The long-awaited pools have finally come. Now you guys can put your pitchforks away and your little flame torches, but leave them out for when for when to, when you want to protest for the lack of toddlers in this game, which I have talked about in Sims 3, and I will talk about when when Susan gives birth. I will talk about my point of view on that when Susan gives birth. Now. She just needs to achieve level 5 in 5 skills, and she hasn't done that in any skill. So, how about we... Oh, she's done that in the hand in the skill. How about we practice video gaming? No, programming. First, practice programming. Like, make a virus. Because that makes you... Gives me money, and I need that. Then after that, she'll probably feel un, um, bored, and we'll give her the... And we'll make her... Like, practice her video gaming. Now, I was noticing, because I was playing Sims 4 on my own, and I would notice that when they have low fun, and I was noticing this in my videos as well, when they have low fun, they feel tense. Which I was thinking about, I was like, why? Shouldn't they feel bored? I mean, when I have lack of fun and not doing anything, or just working um, all the time, wait, is he still with... Yeah, he's still with Elizabeth, right? I just go ahead and have him socialize with her. Oh, look, Rochelle's here. Anyway... When I am like working hard or haven't done fun in a while, I feel bored, not tense. So I don't get what EA is smoking or why they did that. Because they have the bored emotion, but they used it for like when work-related things or stuff like that. I mean, it's a little minor thing, but I I wish they would change that. Like when their their fun is low, they feel bored. Oh well, I guess I'm the only one who thinks about this stuff because I have no life. Okay, so Catherine just leveled up in her programming skill. She can now perform freelance work. Start freelance work. I wonder what that does. Probably like you hack for her own thing. And she has to go to work, so I made her have a total shower so that she can go to work feeling inspired, right? Oh my goodness, Catherine, what are you singing? You sound terrible, worse than me. And that's saying something. Yeah, she, she, you should wake up. Because her carpool is coming in an hour, 34 minutes. She is so close to giving birth. When is she gonna do that? Yeah, go eat and then use the toilet. Catherine's off to work. Yeah, she's finally feeling inspired, so go and work hard. We need your promotions. We need the money because look at our house. Uh oh, she just. Oh crap. Uh, literally. She's feeling embarrassed. So to go take a total shower, then go to work. Too many dishes. Uh oh, dishes. Dishes! Uh oh, dirty dishes are piling up and Catherine can't keep up. Catherine can either overload the dishwasher or give up and leave some dishes unwashed. Oh crap, overload? Well, at least it would be sort of clean. Whoops, oh no, the, the dishwasher is screwed up? Oh my bad, oh well, at least now we know what to do later. And later opportunities. Now Catherine has to wash up all the dishes and hand clean up a sudsy mess. Performance lost medium. Oh well. Oh, oh! Oh shit! She's going into labor! She's going into labor! Now, you, to, to give birth, you can either stay here and just wait for her to give birth, or you can go, go like in The Sims 3, you can have the baby at hostel. Why are you tense? Love Lord. Romantic Sims need to show love and have it shown it to them. Stressing for working too hard. You went to, to work for like five minutes! Calm your tits, Susan. 
Anyway, what are these noises? I mean, seriously, she's at the hospital. There's a hospital, like, around the corner. Okay, so she's giving birth. Will it be a girl? Will it be a guy? And it's a boy! Birth! Life! The universe! And everything awaits! It'll be a long road, kid. Susan just gave birth to a baby boy. This baby needs a first name. What would you like to call him? Now, you cannot randomize the name, which is really good, because I suck at naming people, but I'd like to give the name Dean. Okay, so baby boy, Susan and Anderson had a baby. Oh, yeah! We should probably call Anderson over. Where? Wait, where is the baby? Oh, okay, there it is. Now, this, the Sims? No. Sim babies kind of work like they did in Sims 1. You can't click on them. They are inanimate objects, like, similar to inanimate objects. Wait, wait, wait! Before I continue saying anything, stop cuddling. You have to go a drop before you get a, a negative mood lit because you... Go ahead and blow out candles. Anyway, as I was saying, Sim babies work like Sims 1 babies. They are inanimate objects. You cannot touch them. I mean, you cannot take them out of the crib for and put them somewhere else. They have to always stay in the crib. And as and you can instantly age them up. So if you like just gave birth and just don't feel like dealing with the baby, you can instantly age them up. But I'm not going to do that just yet. And Susan just became an adult. Awesome. Okay. I'm not going to do that just yet because she... Susan aged up. Yeah, thank you. Can we, like, take a piece? I'm not going to do that just yet. Oh, wow. There is Susan Spee. Because I want him to... I want to show off the interactions with the baby. Now. A lot of people were anti... Why are you embarrassed now? Anyway. A lot of people are anti having the, the child, like, instantly grow up from a baby to a toddler. I see why they mean, because, like, it's unrealistic. You go from a child to a toddler, and then you're your child. From a, from a baby to a toddler, and then your child. But, what is that? Promised, a sim in love is never too young to make a pact that could last a lifetime. Awesome. So I want you to paint. No, no, no. Anyway, as I was saying, but I don't mind it, because... I hated toddlers in The Sims th uh, 2 and 3 because why nauseated the good old stomach doesn't feel so good oh crap she ate bad things probably gonna grow up C throw up and uh, like toddlers in The Sims 2 and 3 were annoying you had to constantly show them how to walk and talk and basically after my first toddler I usually just gave up and, ha and had them never learn to walk and talk because they, they the, the interaction just takes forever and it's like your sim gets in a bad mood, then your baby gets in a bad mood, and it's like all around not, gonna, not a good time. So I am on the bad wagon that I I don't mind the fact that babies grow up to be a child instantly. It does look weird, I'm not gonna lie, but I hate toddlers in The Sims 3 and 2, so screw them. Better have this. And uh, with The Sims 2, as uh, Sims 4, as we saw with Chris, his aspiration to be a, like a. Pre artistic prodigy was hard to fulfill and there are even harder ones I mean I think the mental one is super hard to do and th that takes up most of your time so you won't be missing a toddler in my opinion are <laughs> oh, you probably wondering why do not why don't I have a pool well because look at our house it's like the, the worst thing ever and I need to upgrade it before actually giving them a pool so just in case you are wondering okay so wow you took forever to repair that are you gonna puke hopefully you won't uh oh, that's how it gurgles. Don't sound so good. Oh no, she's gonna puke, isn't she? Oh no. Please don't. You have six minutes to not puke. Come on, Susan, don't puke. You can do this. Why is she not feeling inspired? I should be feeling inspired. Did I disable these? Wait, why do I have still why do I still have this here? No, sell that, please. Sell that to the art collector. Oh okay, she didn't puke. Fantastic. Chris can now create high skill pop art, medium skill surrealism, and medium skill impressionist paintings. Yes, you might want to keep an eye on these because you want to do the high skill pop art, not the low skill, whatever else he was doing. So, since. Wait, why do I, do I earn money? Oh, because he sold the thing. That looks so good. Oh, wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, wait, we'll get to you. Milestone complete. Chris can, has the, done the milestone. Awesome. Have 25 paintings on display. I have two. Apparently, I have two. I don't know which one it is. I know the flirt painting, but which one? Which else do I have on display? 
this is a conundrum because I have no idea. There's this card to display because I have no idea what the, what this game is talking about. Paintings can be purchased from build mode. Yeah, but it didn't purchase any. Am I high or something? Because I don't remember purchasing. Whatever. View or admire 30 paintings. So you can go ahead and admire that. And complete 10 excellent paintings. Fantastic. Okay, this will be harder, but we can do this. Now, since the baby is crying, yeah, she's gonna go ahead and rock him to rock him. I mean, hello? Would you like to go rock him, Susan? Thank you. Yeah, you have a lot of... Uh, even though the, he is still confined to his bassinet, or cradle, or cot, whatever you want to call it, the, he, she does have a lot of inter interactions to do, to perform with him. So first off, you have the rock interaction, which I just showed you. You have the make silly face. Yeah, no, with my, with my, with my settings, babies look demonic. I'm sorry about that. Now you can also breastfeed him, which is something only a woman can do. Surprise, surprise. But it's just pixelated, so it's, you're not seeing much. It, there's no up, there's no pro or con to doing that. It's just a new interaction. What? Ch and you can change his diaper. You can bounce. Coo at. You can have him. You can age him up. You can cuddle him. And then let's show him off to Chris. What? What? Why did you just? Eat a pancake. Okay, well, you just got it out and then didn't eat it. Romantically inspired. Viewing some art can just put you in the mood. Awesome, okay. And competent artist. So, tomorrow we'll call over Anderson and have him look at the baby because... What just happened? She looks. She looked panicked for a second. That was weird. That's the cuddling. It's, it's, a, it's sweet, even though on my, on my current settings they look demonic, but it's fine. Yeah, and the relationship really goes up really fast. Yeah, come here, um, Chris. Chris, do not clean the dishes and come here. No, show off to. Chris. Show off to. Jesus, Susan. Just... Susan, stop doing that. Oh, you not come here. I want to see this in action. Show off to Chris. Oh, thank you. Now, what? Okay, I guess. Don't do it. Fine, then. Whatever. What do you... Is, did he get promoted or something? No, he didn't. So go ahead and keep flirt... Yeah, make another flirt painting. Screw you too, Susan, I guess. Apparently, she did not want to show off the baby. Oh, yay! Casting just went... Just brought home 144 simoleons, which isn't that much, but it's fine. She she needs to reach level two of the mixology skill. She is super tired. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Yeah, isn't Kathleen like um um what is it called? Go away. A family oriented. These the, yeah they build up their interaction with the baby. They build up a relationship with their children really fast. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Stop. Oh great, is she frozen? Okay, now she's stopped being frozen. That was so weird. Why did? Oh, I don't know. This game is weird sometimes. And now she's randomly feeling 30. Oh, probably because of that. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see what this is. New baby. No mon... No mon... Bleh, bleh. No moment in the life of the... In the Sims life is more joyous than the birth of a child. Yes, that that is true. Even in real life. And how is that a flirty painting? It looks like a slab of meat and like candles around the meat. That looks more like an occult sort of thing. Did you just bake something? Why do I keep hearing this uh, weird, like, do 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 noise? It's, it's like something bad happened, but okay. Oh, that's a dinner and some candles. I don't know how that's supposed to be flirty at all, but okay. But it's worth 500 simoleons, so g give me all that. Wait, first view. Oh no, he's crying. He's crying. He needs a dirty diaper. Where's the pop art painting? Make a large one. Susan, Susan, stop, stop, stop. Susan, J go change his dirty diaper. And the crying sounds, I don't know, it just sounds worse in this game. It just sounds so annoying. Or maybe because they cry at more regular, more frequently in this game. But the crying, I notice, is just so annoying. And I think with that, I'm going to end off the part here. If you like this part, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more of my videos to come. In the next episode, we'll see if we can go ahead and call Anderson over to show him off our baby Dean. And... Maybe call Mercutio over? Anyway, I'll see what happens in the next episode. I'll see you then, you guys. Bye!